Hello, so welcome back to the new video on the current affairs. Today we are going to discuss important topic for the prelims. Students in the prelims exam, UPSC ask about important species in the news or if any new species has been identified, especially in the areas of Western Ghats or Eastern Himalayas, which are considered as a biodiversity hotspots of India, then UPSC will try to ask the question. Now, last year, one important assessment survey was released by the IUCN. And this survey, the first survey happened around 2004. And the second survey was released last year and it is primarily based on the amphibians. So this survey becomes important. Almost after 20 years, IUCN has released an important survey on the amphibians. And UPSC has also asked previously questions on the frog species. So in this context, this question becomes very important or question becomes probable from this area. So first, what is the survey? Global Amphibian Assessment Survey. Who did this? IUCN. With support of various experts, thousand experts, they have done this survey. In the India, Aranyak was the organization which has supported this. Now friends, here itself I want to add you one point. When you are writing mains answers or when you are studying for the prelims, automatically you are also doing preparation for the mains. Now, when you talk about the environment, environment conservation or destruction of the environment, so you can use these examples. Like there is a role of NGOs and civil societies. Then can I not use this example of Aranyak, which is a kind of a civil society which is working in the areas of the environment? And can I not use this report to mention how the destruction is happening to the biodiversity? And if you can see here, in what ways the destruction is being happened to these amphibians, habitat loss, climate change, disease, fire, invasive species and war exploitation. These are the prime reasons that are affecting every animal species, my dear friends. So once you study for one animal species, you can use the same method for the other organisms as well. Now if you can see here in the disease section, this, this mycosis. This is very important. This is so much in the news. This is causing huge pandemic kind of situation in the amphibians. So this can be asked by the UPSC. Okay, so you need to remember this very important disease that is causing threat to these amphibians. I hope you have got these points, friends. So this report says they have first, they have done the data on this around 8,000 species. Out of these 8,000 species, they have found around 37 have been extinct and Around 186, they are critically endangered and also probably extinct. And totally critically extinct were 612 and endangered 1264. Okay, so have an just decent idea. So this is the uh, in, uh, this is the investigation about the amphibians. They said amphibians globally are experiencing severe population decline. So first major survey on the amphibians. High probability of the question. Amphibians, why these things are important for us? Because they serve as a kind of health. They tell us about the health of the ecosystem. Like certain frog species, the presence of certain, certain frog species in that area indicate whether the environment is in good condition or not. There are various frog species present in Western Ghats. Like in the key biodiversity areas of Kerala, in the Munnar region, certain frog species are found. They tell you about situation of the environment or health condition of the ecosystem in that region. So this is a good key environmental indicator. And these amphibians also eat pests. So they play the role in pest control, nutrient, nutrient cycling, and they are also part of the food web. Any destruction to one of the organism can also transfer it to the other organisms because of their participation in the food web. And they have also certain medical, medis, medical and the agriculture potential. Okay, so because of these reasons, amphibians are important for us. Now, what is the situation in India? Over 41% of the amphibian species globally threatened with extinction. In India, 139 of 426 species are at risk according to the IUCN. The Western Ghats region has a significant number of the endangered amphibian species. Very important point. Other threatened amphibian groups, night frogs. I just have an idea about the scientific name. Biodiversity hotspot. Like I said, Western Ghats. In the Western Ghats, Munnar is considered to be very rich in this area. And Wildlife Trust of India is also playing role 
in the amphibian recovery project, which is currently operating in the Kerala. Again, one more important prelims fact. So now, certain important frog species in the India. We should know these are the frog species that are in the news. So we need to know. Recently, in the eastern Himalayas, three new frog species have been discussed. Sorry, discovered. A green tree frog. Um, unique. This is found in the uh, in this region in the Patkai Hill Range. Okay, you can pronounce this scientific name, but it's very difficult to pronounce. And also a small brown frog. This is a green and brown frog. And here it is a brown frog. All these things are found in the eastern Himalayas. And also marsh frog that is found in the Noah Dihing River. Again, this becomes very important. Noah Dihing River. Some marsh frog is from frog is found. All these are found in the northeast India. Apart from this, two critically endangered species of India. Purple frog. These are considered to be a burrowing species, which surfaces, comes to the surface only during the monsoon season for breeding purposes. Another bubble nest frog, okay, recognized by its bubble nest, have green and yellow spots, certain important points. They are found in the moist evergreen forests of the Western Ghats. Certain endangered species, Khasi Hills frog, Tiger Toad frog, they are found in the Western Ghats. And again, Western Ghats bush frog. Some vulnerable species, Nicobaris tree frog and other and the near threatened Jadon's tree frog. Apart from this, certain important species are dancing frogs. They dance for the mating purposes. These frogs are residents of the fast flowing streams of the Western Ghats. Generally, they are found in the primary in the Western Ghats. So even if you don't know, sometimes mostly it would be in the Western Ghats or Eastern Himalayas or at the rare times Andaman. By this we got. So one sometimes when we do not know the question, if they ask you any species, so based on this content, you can arrive at a intelligent guess at the question. It's not possible that you know answer for the, all the questions. At the max 15 to 20 questions, you know the answer. The rest of the question, you should use your knowledge, your accumulated knowledge to arrive at a most possible answer. Without taking that kind of risk, you will not be able to get through the prelims. Solely based on the knowledge. I have not studied, I don't attempt this question. That is not going to work. Then fan-throated frogs. These frogs exhibit colorful throat fans. Then Malabar flying frog, Annamalai flying frog. Just have a fair idea. So you would be in a position to solve this question. Okay. I hope you have really liked and enjoyed this uh, session, friends. If you like the session, please like and also share this sessions with your friends and also comment if you want more such videos. Thank you, guys. And this is also part of the Current Affairs program. CAP Current Affairs Plus. Okay guys, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.